Howdy arty aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. Lately all the stuff I draw gets recorded and then uploaded here. In today's video I am drawing a single eye in an anime style indicative of that scene in Aeon Flux. I will be presenting my drawing as a time lapse. In real time this took me about 10 minutes. That's an improvement on day one, though the lack of pencil shading is probably the real reason why today's eye is a quickie. Yesterday's drawing leaked onto the page I'm using thanks to not aligning my protective bit of paper properly. Oh well. To draw this eye, I used a new toy I bought at lunch. Another 2mm Stadler mechanical pencil, of which I already possess one. I also bought a packet of blue leads to use with it. I could have just swapped out the lead in my existing pencil, but hey, that seemed like too much work. Being able to grab the pencil I want without stuffing around rules the roost in my book. And in a production environment, it would be quicker, so that would be a time saving. The style of Iris here shows up a lot in Eon Flux, and I wanted to have a bash myself. I think it came out well, especially the two tone bits and the lines. What is driving me a little nuts is quite a lot of my Copic markers seem to be drying out with minimal use. That could be the paper I'm using, bog standard 120 gram sketchbook paper rather than bleed proof paper. It is likely the sketch pads are thirsty and sucking all the ink out of my pens, so lucky them. I have a bleed proof pad around here somewhere, so I might move to that once my current sketchbook is filled. Well, for drawings where I plan on using a lot of marker anyway. You can see here it's a lot of effort to get the ink onto the pad. It doesn't detract from the drawing because the sketchiness of this just adds to the lines that show wrinkles, so that's a win. It is annoying though trying to apply ink when it won't come out of the damn pen. And once I've finished off the drawing here I go through and just do some final touch ups with my 0.8mm uni pin. I began the original inking with the point 0.1. Uh, this just adds a little bit of variation in line weight and provides interest to the drawing and makes it pop out a little bit more from the page. So yeah, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you got ideas for or were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook etc, subscribe, like and share. If you were inspired to draw, Share your, your results with me in the comments or on one of my social media outlets as I'd be interested to see what you come up with. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and as always, happy drawing.